James, what is knowledge to you? <coughs> knowledge to me is the absence of unknowing. <laughs> Sorry. If there was a student right there in front of you, what do you think would be the most important thing to teach them? To teach them? Right now, if there was like a student standing in front of me? Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess it would depend on what they need at that moment. I mean, if they're hungry, then you know, it's kind of important for them to get food, so they have to know like, how to get to the sub or somewhere to get food. How do you go about gaining knowledge? Oh, hi. Um, so I start every day and I read the NewYorkTimes.com. I also buy a lot of media, like comic books. In the not-so-distant future, what kind of knowledge will be um, most important? The most important kind of knowledge is inquiry-based knowledge. Ah, good problem-solving skills. So, <laughs> if that is the type of knowledge, that definitely is the most important. Is uh, practical knowledge. It's, you know, do you have the knowledge to get through your day, you get through your week? Can you cook for yourself? Can you keep a house clean? You know, it's all well and good that you can factor a polynomial or balance a formula or equation in chemistry, but you know, if you don't know not to mix raw meats with your vegetables when you're cooking, you're going to have a bad day. Throughout different subject areas, we have different ideas about what knowledge is. I often wonder who would consider my personal endeavors or hobbies important knowledge. Who would recognize this accumulation of skills, navigation, weather observation, understanding of wildlife and outdoor safety, as Derek Ramusen puts it in his essay about indigenous knowledge? I know my students would ask the same questions about their own interests. If you look at Bloom's taxonomy and depth of knowledge, it's easy to see that making decisions, creating, solving problems, connecting, applying these skills within the real world, these are all valid instances of interdisciplinary, holistic knowledge accumulation. And if knowledge is considered accumulation of facts, information, or skills, then what is the difference between knowledge and belief? A favorite author of mine likes to ask, exactly how many birds are in flight over the surface of the Earth at this very instant. There is theoretically a precise numerical answer to this question, but ah, the number just changed, so in practice it's almost impossible to get right. The method for gathering this information might be next to impossible, but in principle the answer is out there. In this way, I think that knowledge and human values are deeply interwoven. Knowledge and school curriculum are not only matters of what is most valuable economically or practically, but also morally and ethically.